in the quiet town of Winder, Georgia, September 4, 2024, began like any other day, until tragedy struck. Appalachie High School became the scene of a horrifying mass shooting that claimed four lives, two students and two teachers. Among the injured were seven others, all victims of a disturbed young boy, 14-year-old Colt Gray. This tragedy wasn't just a random act of violence, but the culmination of a series of red flags, warning signs, and psychological torment that went unnoticed or ignored. Colt's unstable home life, marked by frequent moves and family conflict, set the stage for his emotional decline. After his parents' divorce, he lived with his father, Colin Gray, moving between rental homes after an eviction in 2022. This instability was not only geographical but emotional, as Colt's father, distracted by his own troubles, failed to recognize the dangerous spiral his son was descending into. His mother, Marcy Gray, was no better equipped to provide stability, plagued by her own legal troubles and struggles with substance abuse. Colt's troubles were further compounded by relentless bullying at school, with classmates targeting him for his perceived sexuality, calling him gay and ostracizing him. According to his father, Colt longed for a simple life, but found school unbearable, pushed to the brink by the constant ridicule. This bullying, coupled with emotional neglect, planted the seeds for a deadly outburst. But this was not Colt's first brush with violence. In May 2023, he had already made threats to shoot up his middle school, a chilling foreshadowing of what was to come. At the time, his father had been warned to secure his firearms, yet it appears that these precautions were either ineffective or ignored. When Colt finally acted on his violent impulses, the result was devastating. Armed with an AR-style rifle, he opened fire in his school, killing two teachers and two students before being swiftly apprehended. His father, Colin, now faces charges for his role in enabling Colt to possess the weapon, raising questions about parental responsibility in cases of juvenile violence. In dissecting this case, several red flags become apparent. The psychological torment of bullying, emotional neglect in a fractured home, and prior threats of violence. Each of these factors, if addressed, might have prevented this tragedy. Colt's downward spiral was visible but societal failures allowed him to fall through the cracks. This case highlights critical warning signs that can save lives in the future. The importance of addressing bullying head-on, providing psychological support for children in unstable homes, and taking threats of violence seriously. It underscores the need for parents, schools, and law enforcement to work together, ensuring that warning signs don't become deadly outcomes. By recognizing and addressing these red flags, future tragedies might be prevented, sparing communities from the trauma that Winder, Georgia, now faces. The Appalachie High School massacre is not just a crime. It is a lesson in the importance of vigilance, empathy, and timely intervention.